Four years after the incident at Akichele Seat Dispensary that resulted in the paralysis of children who had gone for an immunization jab, the parents of the children are yet to receive compensation as ordered by the courts. The parents, in their desperation, marshalling support to march to the streets demanding the county government to honor court decision and compensate them for medical negligence that saw their children suffer paralysis. Led by Matthew Adijai, the parents said they were concerned the process was taking too long, adding that the county was taking them in rounds. Watoto wetu tangu wa 2015, serikali ya county imekuwa ikitudanganya kuanzia kwa matibabu, wakadanganya hata watoto walipo, walipo kuwa Nairobi Hospital kwamba wanakuja kushugulikia matibabu. Tumerudi busia, tumeweka mpaka na kesi kotini, serikali ya county bado inatudanganya. Tumekuja kwa county assembly, county assembly wamesema tumetenga pesa ya kufidia watoto watibiwe. Mpaka leo hii kuanzia mwaka jana mwezi wa sita, mpaka wa leo hatujaona hizo pesa. They now want Busia County government to honor a high court order that gave them 40 million shillings compensation. Evelyn Iloka, a mother of two children who were paralyzed after the deadly jab, is threatening to abandon her children at the county government offices. Na sasa tumekuja hapa ili we, wawa toto kama hawata chukua njia ya muafaka ya kutusaidia. Tuawachia watoto alafu wawa wenye wawane uchungu ya wazazi vile tumekuwa tukipitia. The county plans to distribute the funds depending on the level of disability of the children. What made by the court attracted a lot of interest. That interest will go back to the, to the county assembly for approval. As soon as it's approved, it has been uh, in, inserted in the current budget, whatever amount in, in the next budget, whatever amount that will be found due, approved by the county assembly, will also be paid directly to the council for these children. For Channel One News, I'm Elvis Kosgay.